and welcome everybody to my video once again it's beautiful South African weather winter strong coming in strong and um, the sun shining it's a Sunday morning at this time I'm usually away on my motorcycle in some beautiful place today I decided to do what I do on a regular basis which is maintain our streets our circle community service after a, a long week of flu uh, amongst other professional um, uh, changes that have taken place in my life recently and I've had to adapt from crossroads to a new situation all this adding up to the stress values that have been accumulated along the last half year that I don't discuss for obvious reasons. What I can say is I'm still in the same field, I'm still in optics, but this channel is not about that, it's about motorcycles. And today with this beautiful scenery and this beautiful sun, I opt to be uh, thankful and grateful for the little things as always even though I'm not riding so this to say that um, under every situation and circumstance I try and put this in a place where I want just bail uh, to say and discuss something very very interesting that has taken place in my life recently uh, which was the acquisition of the, the VFR now most of you already know that the VFR is indeed the bike that I've been eyeing for so long. The bike goes as far as 19, I don't want to lie to you, but it's in the 80s. I saw it for the first time in 84, 85, roundabout there, through the VFR 400 with the Rothmans colors, I think it was at the time. I was possibly 14 years old, 15, something to that effect. And a youngster with a wealthy dad had just bought him a brand new VFR. The VFR 400 at the time was more expensive than 800. I'm not going to elaborate or discuss that because I'm trying to keep the video as short as I possibly can. Bearing in mind that I'm going to bring you a couple of pictures and a video after this to reflect exactly what took place. About six years ago, five years ago, somewhere to that effect, I acquired my first VFR 800. And as a result, uh, got me into a little trouble because I believe I was a little, uh, some say it's just bad luck, life happens, right? I believe I wasn't ready for it for a number of reasons. And I think that you should always start on a smaller, smaller motorcycle. Uh, even though I believe the 800 saved my life, because I had an accident with it. If you go down the history of my videos, uh, you, if you look up my VF, my accident, you will see that I had some extensive damage done to my right foot as a result of that accident, which took place doing approximately 75 kilometers per hour, which often is the most dangerous times to have an accident. I've heard and seen people fall at 300 and come out without a scratch. And I've seen people die on higher boosters or at my circle here doing 60 and 50. But this to say that the VF4 had to be sold, I was out riding for a long time. In the meantime, as we approached COVID, I finally got the opportunity to buy my motorcycle back after I thought I'd never be riding again. But before we continue and I move on to the story, um, I want to wish you a blessing from South Africa and let's cue the intro. So, getting back to the video and as briefly as, as I can possibly make it. The uh, whole scenario and story that took place uh, in, the, in the events that unfolded during the process uh, as I waited. If you've been following my videos, you will see that I've been waiting for the VFR for a while. 
and as a motorcycle that uh, goes back uh, as long as I've said concerning the um, relationship that I've created with this particular brand of Honda, the VFR, whether it's a 400 or the 800, but specifically the 6th gen, which is this specific one, um, all started with the fact that uh, it all happened in such a way that I asked the Lord for this specific bike and I've been waiting for it patiently. But every time I attempt to get the VFR, the CBR Blackbird appears out of nowhere, as in, you're making the wrong choices, rather go for the Blackbird. And as I said, um, I, I, I got to ride that bike on the first instance after my accident uh, happened a number of years ago. My first ride on a motorcycle, as a result of not having ridden for so long, was on the Blackbird. Uh, needless to say, I took it out for a spin. The guy that was selling it to me was a 50,000 kilometer motorcycle. Very neat, very, very, uh, performing very well. Nothing really wrong with it. Um, I couldn't get out of second and third gear because the motorcycle reached 130 kilometers per hour in first gear. Needless to say, this is not something that I was looking for. Uh, as a first motorcycle after the accident and as a result I got my NC700 which I have only wonderful things to say about it uh, also in red and um, it, it, this is a bike that I truly needed to get back on my feet as they say or back on the saddle uh, without compromising my health my finances amongst all others and uh, let me add and reiterate once more I can never say it often enough the NC700 was just a fantastic motorcycle. But because my passion was always on this specific model, the search continued. And then I moved on to the CBF600 because it uh, went a little bit faster. My very first inline four, I made some modifications to the exhaust, as most of you already know. And uh, the VFR was still on my mind until the point that uh, I finally found an immaculate Blackbird, CBR Blackbird in blue with maybe 10,000 kilometers less than this particular VFR. I went and take a look. I got footage on this video, which I'm going to place immediately after this section so that you guys can see what that bike consisted of. And it came with dyno tuning, performance exhaust, it was flashed. It, this bike was immaculate. You will see on the footage of this bike, it was absolutely, probably even in a better condition than this one, uh, is with even less miles. Needless to say, this prompted me to quickly go to the owner of this VFR and say, here's my offer. I found the Blackbird at this price and this is all I'm gonna give you. And uh, it worked, fortunately because uh, that bike was really, really good. And uh, you will see it in a moment. The, the, that bike was absolutely stunning. If, if anybody with a rational mind had the opportunity to go for either, either or either of the motorcycles, apart from the fact that this one is a newer model, uh, the common sense would say, stick to the Blackbird. Um, I will never forget <laughs> the performance of the Blackbird and how it made me feel. But I, I never forgot that this was the aim. VFR was what I had in mind. It's what I asked the Lord for. And I stuck to my guns. The offer went through. I refused the CBR 1100 and fell into the signatures with this VFR. Just to say, oftentimes um, deals are, usually we use ration and common sense and our heads to make a deal. In this case, I can guarantee it was not made with the head. The deal went through as a result of what was in my heart, and that was the VFR. So, I hope you enjoyed this. I'm gonna pass on to the rest of the footage so you can see what I'm talking about. And I made a lovely comparison between the two bikes. I've got footage of the two, and you can decide for yourself which was the best bike to keep. This one or the Blackbird.
Kalau lost ini kini, check it to blank. Saya kau taruh meja guys. Check it to blank. Check it. Kalau tak safe, di blank kiri mana? Probeer en ik ga gaan we ideeën die bordjes zijn glad niet gewas. Nee, ik heb net van af en toe wel eens gevraagd. Probeer het een ideeën je van nu schoenen zie je fiets. Als jij hier doet en kijk, dan ga je dat. Als jij gaat zien die schoen, die schoen is een fiets. Als ik zeg hij is niet glad niet gewas. 